This is a historic event like no other. Yep. New York City bracing for the first ever criminal trial against a former president with the NYPD preparing for protests, which we're already seeing. There are street closures in place. There'll be no doubt many, many traffic jams and potential threats. I want to bring in former NYPD Commissioner Bill Braxton, now the executive chairman of Teneo Risks. His new book is The Profession, a memoir of policing in America. Thank you for being with us this morning. Just wondering what your thoughts are. What's the scale of security preparations for today and for the next six, eight weeks of this trial? Well, as you might expect, the scale is uh, very, very significant. Uh, we had a preview of this event uh, a month or so ago at the arraignment. So they had a, uh, a trailer or a teaser, if you will. But there's no department in the world that's more capable at dealing with these events than the NYPD and certainly the Secret Service with their responsibilities for the protection of the president. And then the courthouse. This is not the first rodeo at that courthouse. So the court officers there are very familiar with security pr procedures for high-profile uh, defendants. And, and for other high-profile events, obviously, Bill, New York routinely handles parades, presidential visits, U.N. meetings. But how do the security needs for this compare? Well, effectively, uh, it is a unique one in the sense the first time the president has been put on trial. But other than that, these are things that the department has gone through time and again. It's a very large department, has a huge intelligence bureau. And that intelligence bureau will be watching very closely, uh, monitoring social media uh, for anticipated demonstrations, any threats that might be made against anybody that's involved in this trial, whether it's witnesses, uh, the president himself. Uh, no, the uh, effort that's gone into the preparation for this has been extraordinary, certainly. But it will continue throughout the duration of the trial. Uh, witnesses will have to be guided into the courthouse. Where do they need to come into the courthouse? Uh, how do they get screened coming in? And so it's a very complex operation, but something that uh, these three agencies are very good at doing. Commissioner, uh, Donald Trump on Friday sent out a fundraising email saying, quote, 72 hours until all hell breaks loose. Of course, we can think of the things that he has said uh, in the past that uh, have caused some real problems. Are you concerned at all about any violence outside the court in the next couple of days and weeks? They will certainly, the security forces, be mindful of that potential. But I think of all hell breaking loose is going to be largely inside the president's own head that uh, he's calling effectively for demonstrations and not much going on down there in the way of demonstrations, at least as of this morning. Not much went on during the arraignment process a month or so ago. But the department, particularly the NYPD, which is responsible for the street issues in and around the courthouse, are geared up to deal with any type of demonstration, whether it's a threat of violence, whether it's demonstration gets out of control, traffic blockage. And certainly uh, in the city today and around the world for that matter, there's a significant number of events that are associated with the Hamas-Israel mm -hmm. ongoing dispute and they're having to deal with that. And I'd not be surprised to see some of that end up showing up in the vicinity of the courthouse with all the cameras that are down there. All right, so those demonstrators looking to get a part of that action also. Hmm. Former New York City Police Commissioner Bill Bratton, uh, it's great to have you with us. Thank you for highlighting the security situation. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.